Brent Nelson here, another quick tutorial in FlexSim. This time I want to show you uh, the addition of operators or text task executors to the FlexSim model. I have a basic model set here that just delivers material from a source through a queue into a first and second processor out to a racking system. But you'll see all of this happens uh, automatically. There's no operator or anything involved in the process. And that's probably not too realistic. You find in the task executors list on the left hand side of the FlexSim window an operator that you can drag and drop into the model. There's a couple basic things that we can do to differentiate one operator from another. The simplest thing to change is uh, their shirt color. Um, you can, as all well, if you want to be uh, a little democratic about things, have male operators and female operators in your system. There's different ways of assigning an operator to a task. With the queue, for example, we've got in the output, send to the first available port, but this use transport is not checked. So things will move from the queue to the machine without intervention. If we'd like to use the operator to pick up material from the queue and put it on the machine, then we would check use transport. Now, current center objects. There's a few different ways that we can do this now. One of the simplest things that I find is helps is to use this, um, this eyedropper tool. So if I click on the eyedropper, now I can come back and if I hover over the operator, it will show that I've been on top of the operator. If I left click, I can pick the operator. And now you can see use transport will use this specific operator. I'll show you another way of making the connection in a second, but I find that one's pretty straightforward. If I reset and run the model, now you can see that material won't move from the queue to the processor unless the operator moves it. All right, don't click reset. Let's put the same operator to work running the machine. If I click on the machine and come over to the processor window, let's say I need there to be some setup that would typically require the operator. So use operator. I can even define how many operators I need. And then the processing time, I can also decide, do I want to use the operator? Do I want them to be the same person as I used for the setup? Or do I not need an operator? So it's up to you, up to your model on how you want to do this. The default here is the same thing, current center objects. The central ports, that's one of the three list of ports. Under central ports, it shows there's no connection. If I click on the eyedropper tool, I can now select the operator and you can see that they're now connected by the center port. If I reset and run the model, I've assigned the task of moving from the queue to the operator, but I've also attached the operator through the center port to the machine and said that the operator was necessary to run the machine, to set up and operate it. I'll just show you then if, you, if it's appropriate for your model. Here's a, also a robot that we can use. Another resource that you might find useful, or task executor, sorry, not resource, another task executor that you might find useful is um, a transporter. Again, I'm just going to connect the center port, hit escape, click on the queue, and tell it to use the transporter. Right. And then the transporter moves the material. It's a very, very slow robot. <laughs> 
Since I've been complaining about the robot taking so long, if you click on the robot, there's all kinds of variables um, in FlexSim. So clearly we're going to find one that will control the speed of the robot. Uh, if I go to the properties window under the robot, I'll see move time currently set at five minutes, which is a bit longer than I was hoping for. So if I make it 0.2 minutes instead, or I could change this to seconds, reset and run my model. And now the robot is a whole lot quicker. There's an alternative to the forklift truck that we could use. Uh, so I'm just going to delete the forklift and bring in a task executor. I'm going to bring in a task executor. This is a generic, a little more of a generic um, uh, product mover. Um, no good for loading or unloading machines, I would say. But if we're doing a warehouse kind of an operation, might find the task executor makes more sense than a forklift truck. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to connect the queue to the task executor and then just to check to make sure that my queue does in fact say use transport current center objects. And under the center port, you can see here my task executor. Well, sometimes we have operators using um, pump trucks or something like that. And so this is a bit of a more of a generic picture. It's just a static object that moves around and sort of points in the direction of travel. And so when we get into um, uh, the next tutorial, where I'm going to talk about changing graphics around a little bit, then it's easier to replace the task executor with another image of something that moves material, like a pallet jack. Or uh, what else did I want to show you? One more that is uh, maybe appropriate for what you're doing is a crane and i'll i won't make the connection it's the same as we've done before uh, but now it's this <laughs> rather massive crane and we just need to make the connection the same way we just did we could replace the robot with a crane and it will do all the graphic manipulation that the robot would have done as always, sort of plan and explore. This is one of the nice things with FlexSim is it comes with a lot of built-in, very powerful functionality, um, and and you choose the most appropriate sort of imagery or um, resources in your model to model the process that you're doing. Okay, uh, I'm going to finish there. Just want to make this a quick tutorial on how to assign task executors to your process. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Good luck modeling.